Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro Tips and Tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use GoPro Studios as a color corrector for edits you're making in Adobe Premiere Pro or Premiere Elements or after, uh, sorry, Final Cut Pro. So what we've got open, we've got GoPro Studios 2.0 open with two converted GoPro clips. So these two clips here, this GoPro 0005 AVI and this one have both been imported and converted into that uncompressed AVI format. And then I've also got a Premiere Pro project open with no files in it yet, just the single sequence. So I want to import these two video clips into my Premiere Pro project, but I don't want to export them. I'm actually going to import them as these raw AVI files because they're actually a format that uh, Premiere Pro can recognize. To do that, we're going to right click on these, go Reveal in Explorer. That will open this uh, Explorer window. That will open this Explorer window, which will show us the two clips. Like, luckily, my two clips are in the same file. If they weren't, you would do that for each one of these clips. We can then minimize GoPro Studios, select both of these clips, drag them into the project bin inside Premiere Pro. We can now take these two clips, drag them down onto the timeline in our sequence. We'll change the sequence settings, and then we can see that the two clips show up inside Premiere Pro. Now is where it gets a little bit cool. We can come back into GoPro Studios and we can apply some filters to some of the video clips in here. So I think we're gonna start with some pretty um, r a harsh effects. So we'll probably go ProTune and Candy Color on this one. And then maybe we'll even go, nah, go ProTune Candy Color on this one. And then on the second one here, I'm gonna go 1970s and I'm also gonna crop it wide. Give it that funny look. Just so it's really obvious that we've made some changes here. And then without doing anything but applying those filters, I'm gonna jump back into GoPro, into Premiere Pro, scrub through my timeline, and I can hit play at any point. And we can see that those effects have been applied to our video clips inside Premiere Pro. You can see this one's that wide effect applied. So what this means is that when GoPro Studios applies the effects, it applies it to this working AVI file and then Premiere Pro can pick that up. I can make changes here. Maybe I can go back to none. Maybe I'll apply a night vision and a sepia, something like that. And then as soon as I jump back into um, Premiere Pro and hit play, or scrub a little bit, it will update. And then just like that, it figures out what's going on and updates um, its preview to that. The reason there was a little jump there was because it's already rendered that file once, so it goes back and plays its pre-rendered copy first. Guys, I really wanted to show this off because it's kind of cool to show the power that the color correction inside GoPro Studios combined with the um, powerful editing software of a different software. Maybe you don't like how the edits work in uh, Premiere in GoPro Studios, but you love some of the effects that you can do and some of the power over the actual look of your video you have inside it. But I just want to show you off how you could use um, the two softwares combined to create some really powerful and good looking edits. Until next time guys, thank you very much for watching. This is another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe and check out my channel for lots more videos. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will be sure to get back to you. I read absolutely every comment that is posted. Most of all guys, if you've enjoyed the video, like it, but more than that, thank you very much for watching.